Hello, everyone. Welcome to NetBrain's presentation. My name is Rabia Hamad, and I'm a senior pre-sales engineer with NetBrain. Today, we will be discussing NetBrain's problem diagnosis automation system, or as we call it, PDAS as well. Based on our discussions and experience with the customers and our research, a typical large enterprise has usually thousands of tickets a month. And we have seen that 95% of those tickets or issues that happen in the network, they are repetitive. And 50% of the problems can be prevented before they are actually found in the network. NetBrain introduces a problem diagnosis automation system. And as an input, this uh, automation system takes your incidents, uh, and these are the incidents that are repetitive. And 95% of the times, these are the problems that have already been worked on and they are already fixed in the past. NetBrain is going to work with those incidents and it's going to automate the diagnosis. As an output, the end user uh, can see an incident portal with the diagnosis on it. So let's jump into the actual presentation and see this in action and how NetBrain can automate this entire workflow. So like we mentioned that 95% of the issues uh, that happen in the network, they are already fixed in the past and they are repetitive problems. So the whole idea is to work with those repetitive issues. And if it's fixed in the past, if engineers have already spent hours troubleshooting that issue, next time when issue comes back, it has to be automated with NetBrain's problem diagnosis automation system. NetBrain will create an automation library with all of these incidents. Um, for example, we are looking at um, this library right here. And these are the very uh, common incidents that happen in any network. You can see like, for example, HSRP stage change, voice application, BGP down, uh, these type of issues. You can start off with your top 20 or top 50 issues. And for each of those, um, incidents or issues, uh, there is a diagnosis that is attached to them. And these are the best practices. These are the, this is the tribal knowledge that is used to build this automation library. And uh, based on our past troubleshooting experiences, these are the steps that were taken to fix the problem. So let's take a look at uh, some of these issues. Right now, we are in service now, and we can see there is an incident here uh, that Toronto Office is experiencing choppy WebEx meetings. So we are experiencing some slowness here. It's, there's not a lot of information given in this, given in this specific incident. And uh, again, let's say this issue happened early in the morning or late at night, and this is when most of the annoying issues happen in the network. But when I look at this incident, not only I have a problem, I also have a diagnosis right here. So these are the troubleshooting steps that were taken by NetBrain when this problem happened. So we see reds and greens right away. I see that NetBrain has uh, taken this incident. This was compared against the automation library uh, that we talked about earlier, all the repetitive problems, known problems in the network that happen a lot and they keep on coming back. And then some troubleshooting steps were executed. If I look at the logs, for especially the red ones, I can already see that there were some misconfiguration found in QS policies, and also there was a route change identified. Now I have two options. I can either take a look at this map in read-only portal if I don't have access to NetBrain, and this is going to give me um, a read-only view of the problem area. So th this is what was triggered when this uh, incident came in. NetBrain created this map. It's a path uh, from that source to destination um, where the slowness was reported. We are able to see all the different hops. And again, we can also see uh, some configurations on this firewall. Uh, in this case, you can see which ACL uh, permitting the traffic on this firewall. In addition to this, uh, this you are also able to see diagnosis in red and green. So you are able to identify any alerts that were sent at that time or identified. And you are also able to collaborate with different team members on this. Uh, so this is the incident pane, which allows you to communicate with other folks on this um, incident that are working or even invite people to join and work with you on this incident. 
So let's go back to our incident. If you want to do a deeper dive and troubleshoot uh, this issue in NetBrain, you can log into NetBrain directly from this uh, interface and take a look at the map right there. So there are three key concepts here. We are looking at the map, we are looking at all the messaging and also that diagnosis as well. So this is the path again, I'm able to take a look at all the different hops and NetBrain's path uh, technology is very robust. It's a very sophisticated algorithm that is used to calculate this path, which is aware of uh, state. It's, it's taking into account configuration, state tables, routing tables to calculate this path. NetBrain is intelligent enough to evaluate um, a lot of different things uh, depending on what type of a device it is. For example, if it's a firewall, it's going to take a look at what ACLs are permitting the traffic. It also takes a look at both layer two and layer three hops. Uh, so again, if you look at some things, it's asking about 20 different questions at each of these devices, uh, like route tables, PBRs, and also displaying this key forwarding information on the map. So in this case, this is the path we are looking at, right? So let's take a look at some of this diagnosis. It says right here that uh, alerts were found on these devices. If I look at this alert, so this is where NetBrain has uh, after this trigger happened, this was the check that was um, executed. And in this case, you can see it's telling us that the route has changed. This is a simple no-code, low-code way of automating things. And it, you can simply work with a configuration or a CLI diagnosis. In this case, we are working with a show route command, simple three-step process. Instead of writing lines and lines of codes, you're simply automating things by choosing drop-down menus and simply typing in your command. So in this case, we are working with this output. Second step is simply define our diagnosis logic. We are looking here, uh, what we are, what our logic is, um, is simply comparing the next top IP of this firewall to the, uh, the current IP, to the baseline IP. And if it's not equal, then we are simply sending an alert. So notice that instead of li uh, writing lines of codes, we are simply choosing draw from drop-down menus. And the goal here is to empower every single engineer to be able to automate checks like this without any programming experience or without any coding. So simple, this is how this was automated. And in this case, it's telling us that the route has changed on these devices. Um, there was a next top IP, there was a next um, hop change that was identified as you can see in here on a US uh, BOSS device. Right here. So if we uh, look at the map itself, we can see all the devices and this is the change route. Um, so how do we verify that? If we look at the, go back to the logs again, let's go ahead and verify this to see uh, what has changed. Troubleshooting is all about, show me what's changed. It's all about the changes that happen in the network. So in this case, I've, we've already saved a golden path, which is the best path for this application. And we are simply gonna go tell my brain to map out this path. So this is the golden path that we initially created and saved in here. And as you guys can see, uh, this is going through the internet. This path is going through the MPLS green dotted lines as compared to our current path, which is blue dotted line. And uh, right now it's going through a VPN. So there was definitely a route change that we have uh, visualized in here on this map. 